So yeah, it might just cool be raspberry. people that like stuff. Yeah. But I mean, I said, could we saw Sanks to do a support less track the other day? But I guess, I guess, yeah, you want to have your three cores be those three cores out of those five heroes. But here we go. Secret versus NIP. Now, the question is, are Secret just going to five man mid? Or do you think they're going to play it properly? I see. All right, like three people I, said ES. I don't know if that counts. Oh, really? <laughs> Some people predicted ES. Yeah, but it could be Earthshaker, Ember Spirit, or Earth Spirit. <laughs> so you just, they were playing we the odds. We should have said ES. <laughs> we should have just said ES. Playing <laughs> <laughs> the odds. I mean, chat's smart. Very smart chat. But that, it's, that is, I'm sure some team out there has done this draft before. It really isn't that off the wall. I can't believe we didn't get any of them right, though. I know, that, that comes. We suck. We I thought suck. we were good. I mean, um, we're out of a job. You'd think after thousands of games, Predic we'd be able to figure it out. There we go. NIP versus Team Secret. You will be forever alone. The secret. One game, one. And uh, of course, once again, the random comes through. Oh, is that true? So, <laughs> so yeah, simple. Uh, rank seven joke. Rank seven joke. <laughs> that's, yeah. That's pretty scary. <laughs> What's he got? He's not got any of the gems though, so he obviously doesn't care too much. But I mean, he obviously plays it a decent amount. Oh, he's got the Arcana. I mean. But the Arcana, rank seven, that's that's a decent amount of games. Like that that means it's definitely one of his go to heroes in pubs. If he wants to have a quick carry or something. Fire. Here we have it. A secret. They will not be going for the five man mid. They are spreading themselves out across the relevant lanes. I would tell you yeah, the, the puppy nature's profit will be interesting. Yeah, Sox is uh, giving them the tip right now because he ran his tree into the tower, but then the tree had died there, so Sox got the XP. So he's like, oh, GG. Oh, I feel better already. Yes. Thanks, Nip. Thanks, Ace. You see how the puppy profit works out. The I absolutely on that support Wim Ranger. Jeez, Peter's getting shellacked by those treads. He's dead. All right. Puppy will probably die for this. As indeed he will. And IP find the trade. But yeah, Puppy getting himself first blood with that play. And how do we see the runes go as well? Two for secret. Two for NIP. <laughs> yeah, you know, I didn't even realize, but theoretically, Nip could have waited at the end of every draft and let it random which hero that, they chose, which would have been quite poetic. Are we, wait, are we sure? That's a missed they opportunity. Did. Nah, yeah, there's no way they didn't. Pick. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't do it. But you're right, that would have been that. the ultimate move. <laughs> if they random the hero selection. <laughs> After the alliance shenanigans. Ah, could have been so good. But uh, where's the five-man mid? Isn't it's that how this strat's supposed to go? It's not happening. They're playing it as fair and simple. Nico They're missing some of the components of the five man though. They don't have that like ABBA and like they didn't do like the one person buys Bassy. If you guys have never done that, it is a worthy experiment in a in a pub. It's a lot of fun actually. What are your go-tos? You need the Bassy, someone has to buy a headdress straight up, and then the five oh, yeah. you just run mid. Such a great time. Light stone on someone, you know? Yep, yeah, you gotta make sure everyone's got one of each of those useful items. Oh, it's so good. You get a buckler early on too. It's very satisfying to beat that strat too, though. That's for sure. It's like the equivalent, oh, sure. the closest thing to like a Zerg rush or a cannon rush or whatever in Dota. I don't know enough about StarCraft to know if those are the right words, but I think cannon rush is. Trying to hear that. Yeah, like what's that? up? Oh, I see your voice. Oh. Went, hey, I got to have a clip. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> oh, yo, oh, bottom? Lane. Oh, what we got? Sox is on the run. He is causing a lot of issues here for this juggernaut. Dax a bless him. He's only, he's only managed to have a look at 2CS. Mid lane, mid one. Got the fairy fire. We'll still have a heal as well. Won't get it off. The lightning from Fada sets up the kill for 33. Take down the dazzle. Bottom lane, Saxa. Is well and truly struggling at the moment. 
as uh, yeah, this is not a been, fun lane to be in. He's been totally left alone. I mean, as we've seen there, they've got the two mid, two top on NLP. They're leaving Saxon to fend for himself. And it's pretty rough as they hunt Oof. him down. That oh, spin CD. Gets, yeah, I don't know if he's getting out of this one. He can just try and die as slowly as possible. Secret will find the kill at the end of the day. Count Saxon. Juggernaut attack. is not likely to be a, a, a very scary presence anytime soon in this game. With the lane that he's been given. A mid lane. So mid what do they have to look forward to in this game for the Radiant though? Like, I mean, it's pretty obvious what's going to happen from Secret. Sure. Are they going to be ready in time for that little death ball push? Like, I, mean, I feel like Monkey King needs a lot of items these days. Yeah, they, do, they don't have a lot of... I mean, they don't really have that much D push and wave clear on NRP. Yeah, but it's some pretty risky. Sort of deal with it. On top lane. They get themselves on top of Nisha. Cold feet will proc, and they will be able to finish off that kill. That's Nisha gone. They get themselves anything more. Yapsos coming with the TP rotation. Does look towards 33, but 33 keeps his distance. There's 33... We'll be able to salve up, clarity up. He's back and he's fine. Okay, yeah. solid kill for them. Oh, mid lane. Fada actually hits on the uh, split earth. Oh, look, how, look how well mid one's doing the CS. What do you want to yeah, see mid one has been absolutely destroying today on these dazzle uh, lanes. Nice little side step there for mid one. Could still be in trouble though. The border smash comes in for 33. The actual connecting stun from Fada is not there in time. As mid one does fall still. 33 and Fada dive underneath the tower and finish off the dazzle kill. Meanwhile, now it's uh, Zai left alone versus uh, Soxa, but totally fine for Jakiro. You know, you definitely still see core Jakiro from time to time. I think it was even picked uh, in some, I think NA maybe was being the ones uh, picking it lately. Oh, I hear Matsu's been playing a lot in pubs too. Yeah, I think, I can't remember, yes, I think Mind Control did play it. We did, a, we got an, uh, yeah, we definitely oh, got yeah, Mind right. Control Jakiro. Uh, they did lose up. They lost that game, Liquid, but yeah, they, they were whipping out a core Jakira. Wow. So far... ...is the dire side that is, is coming out just ahead on CS. Mid lane. Mid one again, able to sidestep the roll forward from 33. And Ace gets the uh, bounty rune up top here as they chase after Puffy and force a shackle out. Oh, Ace! Not gonna make Whoa. it! I thought he was gonna live. It was it was close. He's just getting that one hit in just in time. Find the kill before the TP was a success. It's now 33. Being scouted out here by Yaps on the high ground. 33 is desperate to make something happen on this middle lane. Now Yapsaw will reveal himself. Open up to 33. The stun is there. Puppy's gonna be coming in with rotation. 33 able to roll away. He'll get out by Yapsaw. Jackal, buying some time to close the gap onto Fada, goes straight for the TP out, but won't make it. Mid one, with the heal bomb, as the creeps come in. Just enough units there to add up the damage to finish off Fada before that TP is a success. And Secret can now put some early pressure onto this tier 1 tower mid. Oh, they keep recognizing when there's no stuns left, but then they are just uh, cancelling them with style with the very last bits of damage. Both times there's about like 0.2 seconds left in it. One lane. So he has managed to find a bit of CS down here, but Zai is doing a, a very good job of keeping himself with the, with the lead. 37 for 15. Mid lane at the same time. The tower's been taken. They're trying to find kills. Look at the silence. The stun onto mid one. They punish the dazzle. The secret. They kind of got what they came for there. Six and a half minutes in, already taking the tier one oh, tower. Oh, Saxa. Zai just gets the solo kill. Solo killing the juggernaut on this bottom hey. lane, Zai. Yeah, and here comes Puffy. Trying to put this one to bed and secure themselves the top seed. Like, push four points in the, the liquid fire. This tower is so gone. Because as we've said, they just don't have the heroes for this. And Sax is going to TP back in, but this is just a level 5 juggernaut. He is not very scary at all at the moment. And alone... Struggling to push Zai and Puffy away from getting away with this push. He needs backup. Backup is inbound. PPG and 33 heading down as, as well as the TP's in. In fact, the whole side of NIP looking to fight this. If the tower's been taken. They'll find Zai. 33 seeing if he can set up onto Puffy. Zai does go down. 
33 got the control to find another. There's the back of a mid one, the heal there. Keeping Puppy safe for now, Sprout himself, but Ace cuts his way through with the Q. A few more right clicks will do the job as NIP do manage to find two kills. But they are losing their towers. The towers are going down. Space is being created for Nisha to continue farming. He's just about to hit that level 6 as well. So we're going to see a huge sort of spike in right click damage from Secrets lineup in the following skirmishes. Yeah, and so the way this usually works, uh, if you win with the, the full-on push strat, obviously, it's, it's pretty simple. You just keep knocking out towers, you get Roche, you eventually go high ground. You have to go high ground pretty early, though, um, against most lineups. Maybe this one with the weak wave player will be fine, but the way they tend to lose is that you just keep getting killed every time you get one of these towers, so maybe Secret just being a little bit careful, giving away too much, because you start to, like, accrue this gold lead, but then you'd lose, like, three heroes because you're still kind of relatively weak, or you're playing it sort of ratty when you go for the tier twos. So Secret might have to watch out for that, but Zai has already begun the process in the top lane here, and it melts pretty quick. Oh, yeah. Puppy should be TPing in here uh, once his treants are back, and then they're, well, they'll have TP in 20 seconds. So yeah, Ace, he's on the hunt. They have found Nisha, but Nisha on the high ground is going to see Fada walk Oh, the up. Prowler. Nisha, trying to get himself away. Oh, he won. They get the kill. NIP, they find one, but Fada's going to lose his life for it. PPD now has to get on the retreat. Up, he's got Sprout in a couple of seconds, but PPD... Top lane. Speedy. Gets himself away in time. They're trying to make a go on to Zai. They do move forward with the Blade Fury. He's pretty tanky on this Jakiro. As Saxon does manage to finish off the kill, Puppy comes in, he'll find the trade, as he does take down Saxa in return. Keeping these trades going. The one tower top falling very low as well indeed, Ace. Oh, almost got the courier. Gotta be careful, Ace. A lot of heroes around it. He has got a TP available. We'll get back out. Secret 2k lead at the moment. 3-3 three, is in an interesting spot here. I think he's being pinged out. Alright, let's say it's just by his allies. Alright. Oh. He has TP, just to be clear. Wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> What's he doing? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he thought... I guess he, he dies this way, but he can now TP out to a lane and... Join his allies, but everyone was kind of close to base anyway. Oh well, he didn't give the gold to, uh, to anyone in particular, so not going to use his TP either, though. So I, I'm not too sure. Yeah, I do like the early buckler though, because he's thinking about these early engagements and trying to get the most value possible for his team. Got to somehow make sure they can keep one another alive. Get, get, let Ace get those Jingu mastery stacks up. That's mid bomb. His boots complete on the mid dazzle. We switch over to net worth, and uh, indeed we can see it's still oh, Zai? close at the moment. He's tanky, but not that tanky. They get on top of them. Yeah, absolutely. Comes across puppy. Will TP in two. The sprout the combo. Fada, oh, trouble. Mid one comes in. Still has a bit of a remainder on that double damage room, but 33 comes in with a two man boulder smash. It's the perfect angle onto the both of them as well with a magnetized mid one. Ticking down low, he'll go for the TP out, does make it. Ace tries to turn with the boundless strike onto Yab, so will find the kill in return. But this time around, it's going to be NIP taking four heroes. Only you got to be careful about that. That's that's like a 1400 gold swig because they have a slight lead on the side of Secret that it gives you so many bounties whenever this happens. And then the tower gold lead is kind of like a false lead right now because they can't really play much deeper into the Radiant Territory, because there is decent pickoff with a Monkey King and an Earth Spirit, even this early on, uh, as long as Ice Blast is going to be available. Now yeah, Sax is getting some space. They should be able to Roche extremely easily right now from Secret, though. Like, Puppy is into the uh, drums in a moment, already has the medallion. So that's probably next on the menu. Ice Blast coming bottom. Saxon can get on top of them to follow up the boundless strike. He'll chase down Zai with the Blade Fury. In fact, Saxon just goes immediately for the TP. As soon as he sees action coming in, they will be able to cut down the tree that Ace is upon. So they find Monkey King. Sax is out of there. Mid lane fighter trying to put some pressure onto this tier 1 tower mid. Puppy's in to clear out the wave and push it back. But again, you know, this is an IP with an all-random draft. The opening not looking too bad for them. 
they're a little bit behind, but they're against a drought lineup. I think, you know, regardless of the draft that you take, there's, there's always the chance of that happening. There's that natural edge that Secret have because of that drought and a nice stun into Omni Slash, but I say nice, it's, it's at this level at level one, it's not enough bounces at all to take down mid one. And he's got the grave onto Zai. Saxa now surrounded. Zai just casually walking it off. Saxa doesn't get the kill. Zai will live. 33 rolls in. Zai still keeping himself on the edge. 33 is trying to find some action. Won't quite get it. So poor old Saxa. Unable to find those kills even with the Omni Slash. And level 1 Omni Slash just not strong enough at all. I mean, that was a hasted less rack too and still couldn't get it. Oh, that would have helped them enough in the fight. But, uh, man, mid one, he's so good on this Dazzle. He's actually been playing it a lot. If you guys haven't been watching his Dazzle. secret games, it's definitely not a very... Pubs. Yeah, it's not a very jokey strategy for them not. at this point. They picked it several times throughout this qualifier in games that also mattered. And uh, he just holds that grave for so long. Like, despite being omni slashed and with an Earth Spirit there, he knew that his HP was still going to be fine. And that meant that he didn't panic grave and had it saved for Zai. So I think a lot of people, if they were in this game, they would have just, like, instantly graved or whatever and started trying to turn and right-click, but... Have to be pretty cautious when you have a 60 second CD because you're core dazzle. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. An IP. Group top is four around the mid. He got farther as he does show himself. If they fail for it, they are going to look to go. 33 rolls and straight away gets the border smash onto both Zai and mid one. Mid one lays down the weave onto Fada. Fada just melting here on the left track. The ice blast will connect onto Zai, so they'll find one for one. And now Secret looking for more. Puppy TP's in. He has the Sprout to control 33. Jackal Shot won't connect, but it doesn't matter. Get the kill nonetheless. 33's gone. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Tower held. And uh, will be a victory there for the Dire side. So just a question of when they actually want to head into the Roche Pit still. As they appear to be putting pressure on to the end of this tier 2. Poppy will easily be able to clear that up the wave. Ace will be found in the jungle here by Invis the Absor. So at one TP and it should be a death. Oh. He has it without a TP. So the Absor there. Taste a bit of money for him. Gonna be a pretty scary support wind ranger. And I'll be just hiding people be in the trees. Start to back his way off bouncy room wise we are going to see secret be able to claim all four bouncy rooms not a lot of uh, net worth disparity here in this game i mean your outliers are ppd and nisha but aside from that the biggest gap is about 900 gold between dazzle and jug and everyone slots in there very much one of these five man five man games And a high ground ward here placed by Puppy, which will be scouting this Monkey King. It breaks the trees. <laughs> oh, nice. See ya. There's a lot of things he's got to be worried about this game as a Monkey King in terms of tree. Yeah, the point notes of the ward is there, but it doesn't do him any good now. Top is under Secret. The drow strap is starting to really come online. Another tier 2 tower taken at the 16 minute mark. Secret are getting close and close to the point where they can start to look at pressuring the high ground. I will say, I have full respect for Secret doing this too. Like, this is seeding on a major. I don't necessarily think these games need to be cloudy. I was a little surprised to see them turn into 5v5 mids in two other regions. Oh, they did and do that in other regions, did they? Yeah, CIS and oh. C were both literally 5v5 mid. Oh, damn, that sounds pretty fun. They, they even did Roche together um, in the C game. <laughs> well, then they didn't, but, you know, that's a... Uh, you guys can check that out for yourselves. But yeah, base skip had yeah, some, uh, the, some real quality matches. What is the logic? Is it, do we know the format of the Major? We do, don't we? Uh, not as far as... I, I don't know. I have no idea what the seating is, but I haven't looked into it. But, you know, maybe I would as a yeah. team. This has got to matter for something, right? I One would think. Not if you have to play... I mean, if it's in groups, because if, you, if you're in a group, you have to play against anyone anyway, right? So what does the seeding matter in that sense? Unless it's not groups, and unless it's groups where it's like um, the, uh, what do you call it? The GSL thing. Where it's like a play playoff bracket within a group. I don't know. It must, it must count for something, but the, yeah, it's, uh, NIP don't care, as it seems. And Secret do. Secret won the wins, and they're getting it. I mean, at the end of the day, morally winning is going to feel pretty good. That's going to be good for Team Morale. 
As they they'll continue to, to lead this game secret. And get closer and closer to that victory now. 9k lead. As they are not messing around here. And uh, NIP, of course, they they certainly aren't messing around here. Two games, <laughs> two all random drafts from NIP. As well, that in itself sort of speaks on uh, NIP's opinion of this series. They were not interested in winning this one at all. It has secret. Ah, pretty much being handed the free win. Yep. As this is looking to be the two up. Pretty quick afternoon here. Yeah, and it, at the end of the day, it seems like both teams are probably happy because it was evident. Yeah, that I would say so. Really didn't care, and it was evident that Secret they wanted a win. Secret got to win, and IP got to lose. It's one of those rare times mm -hmm. where both teams at the end of a game of Dota are going to be feeling happy. So everybody's happy, even the chat. Uh, look at all the smiles. That's perfect conflict resolution right there. You know? Yeah, everybody's happy. Everybody wins. Well, except know. for Nip, because they lose. Well, but they're happy. They're just, they're, they don't win, though. They're happy to lose this. I will uh, say Puppy uh, needs a Meteor Hammer here, not a, a Spirit Vessel. I don't know what this is. <laughs> that would speed up the push. Yeah. That would speed up the end game. Nice, that nice Gloss. Pretty nice. They do manage to chop down the Wim Ranger. But they will not get anything more. As Nisha turns, stands his ground, gets the double kill. Zai should be able to finish off Fada, as Fada will fall. And, get and that's set. GG. And that is, that's GG. So, as I say, everybody's happy. What a happy series. Secret get the win. They wanted to win. NIP get the loss. They wanted to lose. And chat's happy. <laughs> chat's they happy. Got to, they got to spam some stuff in chat. Yeah. It's, what a day. I, I, I mean, what else would have happened? There'd be no other Dota on. And these two teams yeah. have blessed us with some dotes. Absolutely. The all-random didn't pay off.